If you accidentally drop your chewing gum down your throat and swallow it, how long does it take for you to get it through your system? That's Nate Smith's Whiskey on You on 101.1 KRMD. It is 9.09. I'm Mason in the morning, broadcasting live on the radio and on Facebook and even on YouTube. You can watch behind the scenes inside the studio. You can see my shining face at facebook.com slash KRMD Mason. You can also find the, find it on YouTube at, uh, at Mason in the morning. Easy to find. Yesterday we did a taste test of uh, the Peeps Pepsi, if you missed it. You can pull that video up. The new Easter Peeps Pepsi. Whew. Was that sweet? I mean, I expected it to be sweet, but... Wow. Go watch that video if you haven't watched it. Facebook.com slash KRMD Mason. And uh, make sure you give me a like. Gotta have your likes. Like this video. Like all the videos. Like the page. Become a follower. Do all that stuff. Sound good? All right. Today we're talking about dumb myths that we still believe. <laughs> I found this uh, thread online of just that. The dumbest myths that for some reason people still believe. You know what I mean? Like chewing gum. That was one that was very, very prevalent on this. When people were chiming in on the dumb myths that they still believe. And it's a chewing gum at top spot. Hi, Candy. Uh, so how long does it take? If you accidentally drop your, your gum down your throat. Oh swallow it how long does it take to digest seven years <laughs> right so if you drop that gum down your throat 2015 it's finally out finally out of your system yeah that's a myth that's a myth <laughs> that's one of the dumbest ones how long does it really take to get gum out of your system out of your digestive tract the same as it takes every other food <laughs> like a day if that uh, depending on how regular you are but yeah that's a good one. That is a good one. Because everybody thinks that. And I think it's just something your parents are supposed to tell you so you don't swallow your gum. I think that's what it is. Another one they have listed here, lie detectors. As though they're actually a thing that detects lies. They don't. They don't. They just signal when someone might be lying because of basically the way they handle anxiousness, their level of stress. That's why it's not admissible in court. Lie detectors aren't really real. Uh... This was pretty good, that there's a dramatic reading of a person's will. You know, like you see in movies, when somebody dies, everybody gets together in a room, they do a dramatic reading, who gets what? Apparently that doesn't happen at all. <laughs> Most lawyers say basically you'll just get an email. And if you don't get an email, they'll, sell, they'll, they'll mail you a copy. <laughs> That's a little less dramatic. It wouldn't be as good of a movie if everybody just opened up their letter or their email at their desk at home. To see, ah, Grandpa's only given me 200 bucks? Ugh, what a waste. Uh, this is a good one. The black belts have to register their fists as deadly weapons. Do people really believe that? That's hilarious. Because you don't even have to register your guns <laughs> or your knives or anything else like that. So why would you have to register your fists? I didn't believe that one. I didn't know that was one that was actually prevalent, that people really thought you had to register well, that was a joke. It was a joke, right? People just turned it into that. Uh, oh, this is a good one. This is a myth, huh? I still kind of believe this one up until now. Uh, it says the uh, that you eat 1,000 spiders in your sleep every year. 1,000 spiders. They crawl in while you're sleeping, right? And you accidentally swallow them. Turns out it's not true at all. <laughs> it's... It's very unlikely that you would swallow a spider at all, even one live spider. Number one, spiders don't want to crawl in your mouth. Number two, you're going to wake up because it's one of the most sensitive places on your entire body. When something touches your lips, it almost immediately wakes you up. So for you to swallow even one live spider in your lifetime, it would involve many unlikely circumstances. <laughs> Great! Because I hate spiders. They're like my least, they're, they're, that's my, my, my least favorite thing in the world. I hate spiders. I don't think I'm scared of spiders. I just hate them. I once dented the basement of my dad's house, hitting a spider with a baseball bat. I was just so angry it was there. I once pulled back my, sh my sheet 
at night and there were two dead spiders in my bed. It made me so mad. I was probably eight at the time and I've hated them ever since. So I'm glad I haven't been swallowing them. <laughs> I'm really happy about that. Uh, what does this one say? That you have to wait more than 48 hours to report someone missing. That's what the movies say. It has to be true. Apparently you can report someone missing as soon as they're missing. <laughs> That's better. That's a good one. Here's what I definitely believed for a very long time. Maybe up until now. I don't know. What happens if you drop a penny off a skyscraper? It speeds up so fast that it'll just kill a person at the bottom, right? Yeah, it won't. It won't do that. It says, uh, in reality, uh, the penny would eat, reach its terminal velocity of about 30 miles per hour for its mass, a penny. And if it hit someone in the head, it would feel like being flicked in the forehead. So that, that's as bad as it is. Uh, I think we're going to be okay. I believe that one, though. I was like, when I was a little kid, I, I used to be real dramatic about it. If you dropped a penny off the Empire State Building, it would kill somebody. It will go straight through a car. It will just go right through into the pavement. That humans only use 10% of their brain. Yeah, isn't that true? That's facts, isn't it? No, it's not facts. <laughs> use your whole brain. Chances are you just have a capacity that you could learn more. You could, you could read more and you can fill up more spaces, but you use your entire brain for everything. You can actually see it on brain scans. <laughs> you do not only use 10% of your brain, you use the whole thing. Having headlights off at night is a gang initiation, so don't flash your lights to alert them. I still wouldn't take the chance, especially here in Shreveport. <laughs> I'm not going to flash somebody. If they don't have their lights on, I'm in a sketchy area. I ain't flashing it. I'm going to believe that myth till the day I die, and it hopefully won't be in some sort of a gang initiation shooting. You know what I mean? Uh, the shaving makes your hair grow back thicker. Yeah, everybody believes that. Everybody, I don't know why. It's like, like women don't want to start shaving their legs, or like girls don't, because they think it's going to grow out like a beard. It's never going to happen. Ladies out there, you can shave whatever you want, and it's not going to grow out like a beard. I promise you. No matter what part of your body you decide to shave, it is not going to happen. That MSG is worse than worse for you than salt. Absolutely not. You might have a you might have a uh, sensitivity to MSG, but that's just if you have a sensitivity to MSG. You can also have a sensitivity to sodium or salt. They are just the same. They're exactly the same thing. So you don't have to worry about worry about it. Eating carrots. Helps you see in the dark. Complete myth made up in World War II. That's interesting. Apparently they tried to trick the Nazis. Thinking that everyone was eating lots and lots of carrots so they could bomb people. But really it was radar technology. Very interesting. I've been eating carrots thinking I was going to be able to see into the night. <laughs> what is this one? Mm, uh, tear here to open. Oh, that's a joke. That's a joke. On, uh, on the things, tear here to open. Yeah, that doesn't work. That is a myth, though, right? <laughs> so I guess that's it. I guess that's what we've got. Are the, uh, the myths that we still believe. I'm glad we've cleared up that spider one, though. That one was really gnawing on me for the last 40 years. I hate spiders. I hate them more than anything. I will kill any spider that I see. And if it gets close to my mouth... 